Good morning, Grade Fives. We are looking at page 124 today, and I want to go through the example at the top of the page with you. So please have your textbook in front of you while I speak. It says that these shapes are divided into nine parts. Well, shape A, B, and C have all been cut into nine parts, but they are not all ninths. If you look at shape A, all the slices of that pizza are different sizes, so we cannot call them ninths. Shape B has been cut very equally into nine pieces. Each of those pieces is exactly the same size, so we can call those ninths. Shape C has been cut very unequally, so we cannot call those ninths. So in exercise 64.1, they ask you which of those shapes has been cut into ninths. So you need to make sure that the shapes are cut equally in order for them to be ninths. For question two, they've given you the wrong number line. They've made a big oops. So for question two, I want you to turn back to page 123 and copy the number line at the top of the page into your books and complete it. Questions two and three will use that number line as help. Question three asks you to put those fractions in order from smallest to biggest and question four asks you to fill in the crocodile and the number line will once again help you to do that. If we look at exercise 64.2 on page 125 and we look at the example. The grade five learners share a slab of chocolate with 18 blocks equally among them. So if I draw that block, with 18 blocks in, they are asking you for ninths, and you're going to say to me, but hang on, each of these is one out of 18, and you would be correct. So how are we going to find out what one ninth is? Well, one way of doing that would be to draw a block above it that is cut into nine pieces. Each of those would be one ninth. So if that is one ninth, then surely those two pieces will be one ninth of the bigger slab. There is an easier way of looking at this. Sharing is dividing. We know that. So if we take 18 pieces and we divide it by 9, our answer will be 9 into 18 goes twice. So we know that if we share 18 pieces of chocolate equally between nine children, they will each get two pieces. Now, exercise 64.2 asks you to complete problems just like that one. Number one helps you step by step to figure it out. Number two does not. They ask you to figure them out on your own. If we look at question 2a, they are asking you for one ninth of 27 nuts. Now instead of drawing 27 nuts, and sharing them out between nine. 
we know that divide is sharing. And 27 divided by 9 is 3. So one ninth of 27 nuts is 3 nuts.